PowerPoint has what are called grid lines. You can turn them on and what it does is it creates a grid on your slide that will help you align up your images, objects, or text boxes and so forth. For example, come up here to the View tab, click on it, come to your Show Hide group and check the grid lines, turns them on. Looks like I've got my two shapes here that are lined their tops are aligned just perfectly to this grid here. So what I can do is I can click on the edge or the border of this shape and drag it up accordingly. Now watch what happens. As soon as I get close to that grid line it's going to snap or just suck right to it or magnetize just like a magnet just claps right to that grid line. When I get close, snap. It's right there. Why did it do that? Let me click off in a blank area and let me explain it this way. Because by default the snap to grid is already turned on. Let me take you to a far out place and show you that. You can either come on the Home tab and come to the Drawing Group, or you can select one of the objects here and get to the same place. For example, when I come to the Drawing Group, click on the Arrange button, come down to Align, go over and down and click on Grid Settings. And there it is, Snap Objects to Grid. It's checked. It just means, again, when I go ahead and I get close to one of the grid lines, an object does, it snaps or just sucks right to it. And that's good because then I don't have to kind of guess or move the objects around and try to guess that if it's right on it. It makes it easier to line my objects off of one grid line. Click Cancel. Of course, like I said, the other way to get to it is to come to the Format tab as long as one of the shapes or objects is selected down below. Come up to the Range group, click on the Align button, go down to Grid Settings. I mean, it's there. We'll go over this a little bit later in the next training video on Drawing Guides. Let me click Cancel. So this is fine and dandy when I have objects that I want all lined off of like one of the grid lines, but what about these shapes down here? I mean, I'm not going to line this to that grid line here because it's off. Even if I go to the top grid line here, it's still way off. I want it somewhere in the middle here. So what I want you to do is watch the next training video on drawing guides. You can actually turn on some drawing guides or just basically lines that will help you line up your other objects when the grid isn't perfect enough or tight enough for your aligning of other objects. So to turn this off, I can come up again back to my View tab, go to the Show Hide group, and uncheck Grid Lines. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.